Great. Welcome everybody to our first, let's see, today is Saturday, September 16th, 2023. And welcome to our very, very first Messages of Love webinar. <laughs> Hopefully of, of many. Let's see how today goes. Today we'll be channeling um, messages from whoever decides to come through. So let's get started. Lily? Okay, the first one asking question is Susan. She likes to talk with her mother. Susan Morrow? Is that it? Hi, it's Morrow. Susan Morrow. Me. Okay. Do you have a photo of your mom, by the way? Um, I actually do. Where is it? Um, I couldn't. I was just looking at it last night. Um, yeah, do, do. What did I do with it? Sorry. I just had it last night and I was trying to organize. You can see clearly I organized without really organizing my brain. It's okay. Let's see. What I did come across, I'm so excited, but I'll share that in just a second. Hmm, maybe it's. Oh. Okay. Your mother been gone ten years. She's been gone ten years. Mm -hmm. right. She yeah. um. She's already here. Yeah, she's, I was gonna say she's pretty she just strong. Told me, she told. She just told. Me. <laughs> Yay! Good. So, do you still need a photo? Um, no. Okay, good. I was gonna say she comes in pretty strong. Um, when I've um in the past. She says she has things to apologize for. Things she says I didn't realize when I was in body. She said that I could have been so much better. She says, you are so much stronger, so much better than I ever was. I'm so, so proud of you. So happy at, that you discovered things so much earlier than I did. Yeah. She said, as, as strong as you think I was, There were things I didn't want to know. I ignored. She says, you will understand this. Yeah, I do. I, I overlooked. I put blinders on. And I'm sorry. I accept your apology and I love you with all my heart. I'm getting a lot of love off her. Hmm? I'm getting a lot of love. She's giving you a lot of love. And yes, so much love. She'd love to help you in the spiritual path. That's what I'm getting. That's up to you. I can't hear you again, Phil. I don't understand why. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Well, I can when you when you say it like that. I don't yeah. know. Why. Uh, well, I'm getting, she'd love to help you on your spiritual path, but that's your yes. choice. I choose, yes. I would love her help in every way possible. Wow. 
asking if she has any more message, any more to tell you. She said she has no more information to tell you other than you, your future is so much brighter. Just, you have a lot to look forward to. She wants you to know that. Yeah. Don't give in to loneliness. Don't give in to that type of weakness because you have to, so much to give to the right person. Don't fall for the, don't fall for, how does she, she's trying to word, she's showing me pictures. Um, the desperate, I, I don't want to spend this time alone. I don't want to be alone. Uh, I'll, I'll just pick somebody that I think is good enough. I, you know what I mean? She wants mm -hmm. you to. choose being alone than being desperate for companionship because you are so much better than some of the choices that have been around you. Sometimes you just have to have a lot more patience. Okay. The right, the right person is there, but you have to be diligent and picky, <laughs> choosy. They have to treat you the right way at all times. Respect yourself enough to know that you are worth it, that you sure are. Thank you. She's sending you so much love and so much love. You are so amazing. It's just this pink cloud of hearts all around you. It's just amazing. Mm, I'm so grateful. I receive. She's um, never far from you. She's your biggest warrior. I do believe that. I'm so grateful to get a chance to just hear her outside of just my own knowing. She hears everything you say to her. I'm so grateful for that. I'm so happy that she came through. Me too. It's nice to be seen clearly. I know it's so hard to channel for yourself. It really is. I talked to her, and but yeah. And I do hear her. I we have a very unique bond, but I don't know. Like I've just been mentally just being attacked. Um, on lots of different levels. It's weak. I think a lot of um, light workers are being attacked right now, and I think yeah. it's, it's going to it's going to let up for a little bit because um, the energies are shifting. Yeah, this week is. I feel it shifting, but this week was a little hard. It was hard this week. It was, but I see it. I I see and feel a difference. Um, Yeah, I was, um, last night, as I was organizing, I came across, and I was looking for it, and I could not find it for the longest time. It was like it had disappeared, and then it came back. So in 2000, and 
uh, 19, early part, Spirit had said to me to create um, my vision of home and what could possibly be something for something like using your imagination. And I just found it and I thought I'd just share it with everyone because it has a lot of love in it for everyone. You have to turn off your um, blurred screen. Okay, I don't. Um, it's on on the corner where the dots are. Sorry, I'm, I've got to meet. Tears, man, I can't see straight. Let's see here. Um, oh, I don't. Oh, background effect. Is that it now? Did I do it? No. Oh, I see. Oh, none. I don't even. Is that better? <laughs> that's that. Take off the background. That, I don't it, know. You've got, you got blurred I'm screen. So crazy. I never put that on. Apo okay. Um, apply to all meetings. I'll take that off. Maybe that'll help. Oh my God. No. My phone is misbehaved this whole week. There. I think that's um, better. Yeah. That's it. Okay. So I'll just. Um, it started here. Um, and then. It's now here. It went and grew to this, and it is just about. That's exactly what I saw around you. Your mother put around you with a huge heart in the middle, with all these these um, lights all around you. That is so funny that you just showed this. There were these. Oh, <laughs> there were these these things coming out from you. These that you know that you have all this writing. That's mm -hmm. what I just saw around you. That is so funny. Yeah, because when I think of things, I always try to think of, I try to take them out as far energetically as I can to make sure that they don't get um, affected or that they, if I have a thought, could it get twisted into a, another variation of it? So I, that's what I... To well, do so you were you this. were in the middle. You were in the middle, and your mother had all these loving hearts coming out from going mm. or actually going into you in those streaks of like bright lights. Oh, that's exciting! How sweet! Yeah, especially like just like think, that. like think <laughs> about how when how we'll be back in our ability to be anything at any time like a we could yeah. go and be a mermaid in one second on the beach i always see us on the beach and then the next minute we could be a bird flying and then we could um be us again or we could leave and go visit or others can come visit i just imagine so many beautiful things with this you know that utilizes our hearts and imagination. Yeah. You know, yep. because, because spirit had shown me this time and said that there would be many different, many different thoughts happening at one time, many different realities going off at one time. And I guess I've gone in so many different directions with this reality. And I just feel like ultimately this is my truth, you know? that the potential is there for us all. Yeah, it's beautiful. Thank you. And thank you, um, all three of you, Rick, Deb, and Philip for taking the time. And of course I will donate and I will send that over your way, Deb, and then I'm sure you guys will. Yeah. Can, can I say something now? But Please, fill up. When I connected to you, when I connected to your mum, I picked a mm -hmm. card, and then I thought I shuffle it, pick another one, and I shuffled it and picked another one. It's the same card three times, and it was oh, that's it, so funny. It was weird, <laughs> and it's blessings, and, mm. and you can see it with this new camera. Blessings. It basically means uh, your mum's giving you extra blessings in these difficult times. Uh, well, yeah. I oh, received them. Oh, by the way, your mother's an angelic. <laughs> yeah, she um, she's come. She came forth 
um, like several different times. And um, I know she's an angelic, that's for sure. I, and um, and she was always such a big heart here as well. So I, yeah, I'm grateful to have her heart within mine. And I'm grateful to have had the father I had as well. I'm, I know that they are very special souls beyond this reality and I'm grateful. I'm so glad she came through, thanks. Thank you, I'm so glad. Thank you guys for doing all that you do. And um, someone was on earlier complimenting Rick and um, I concur. So I just, I'm grateful to have found you guys and just to be sitting in the conversation and witnessing all that you do with others is is just a pleasure to my soul. So thank you. Thank you. When I was uh, check, um, checking before, I actually got uh, a blue haven. You know, the bird blue. I, I got that up at one of the aspects around you. So uh, I don't know if you can take that. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I'm a fan of birds. There you go. <laughs> and every perspective. But it I is. I wasn't going to I say do. it. I wasn't going to no, say it. No, I'm glad that you are. Yeah. Always I get say, told, always I, I get, Phil. Yeah, I get told several times if I'm not going to say it, so I've got to say it. <laughs> no, I'm glad that you did. Yeah. Yes, the yeah. bird when Deb was mentioning their birds were out, I was I was like, oh my god, I'm so just thrilled. I love I love birds. I feed them. I I had one. Um, he passed on, but I know he's around me. I love them. Really special yeah. spirits. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. And really? Thank you, everybody. Thank to you. The next. Yeah, we will go to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> it will be um, Irina. Irina Agapa. And her question is, uh, did my path change in regards to a divine partner? Mm -hmm. So she's single. I was rejecting to have one until recently. Arena, is it, is, did you say Arena? Yeah, Irina Agatha. Okay. Did your path change? Yeah, basically I was rejecting to, to be with anybody. I was just so, yeah, deep into my own crap, if you wish. So I didn't have the, the, the head or anything to, to think of anybody else. So I was really, I had huge resistance until recently. Now it kind of changes. I'm open. Um, but, um, I think Lily, uh, you missed one that, uh, that probably typed before you got here, and that was Janine. Mm -hmm. Just to let you know, um, Arena. Yeah. Let's see, you're uh, Janine. Janine she typed before I arrived. I think before you you arrived. Yeah, she typed first. Oh. Okay, I don't have, I cannot see it. Yeah, that, that's why I think it. Okay, her. then she'll be the next one. Yeah, no. I just okay. want to let you know, because she, okay. she was first, actually. Okay. Um, if something for her is coming through, I can get out of the way. No, you're, no, 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 we're focusing on you right now. So I just, I just noticed that Janine had been on there and, no, and she hadn't been called yet.
I'm asking father. When you reject one until recently, so you, re, you were saying that you didn't want one, so you never wanted one, and now you do. So you've opened up to the, the thought of having one. Yeah. So did you tell your guides, I'm open to receive a, a life partner now? Not conscious. Did, did you say it out loud? No. Okay. So today, now you're saying it out loud. I'm saying it out loud. Okay. <laughs> the father says, now that you've said it out loud, you would like a divine partner. Yeah. Now the journey begins for a divine partner to find you and you to find them. So now that you're open and you've said it out loud, you're not, it's not a secret anymore. So when you sit and, and say, I didn't want one, I don't want one, you've, you've, you've put the, you, you've blocked it. You blocked anybody that wanted to be your divine partner. Now you're open to it. So now it'll happen. But you have to have patience and stay in your heart. Don't logically think, well, is he gonna fit my bill? No, you have to think here. You have to open your heart here. Father says, don't do it here because then you'll end up with the wrong person. <laughs> Again. Again. <laughs> do it in your heart. Heart to heart with a person. Don't join heart. Let your heart be open. Don't overanalyze it. I've got a little bit of info if you want it. Yes. The Kashik records, because I just went in there, end of the year. But you could do with a break first. Do with a break from, you know, like a, like a break from everything. Yeah. No, the cancer of the break, end of the year. I'm not giving you the exact date. I know the exact date, but not, that's just cheating. <laughs> Okay. So, yeah. And it is the proper thing. I'm not sure if you meet someone who isn't just before, but at the end of the year, yes. Okay. And I'm not sure if that's why you said, I went into the Akashic while you said that. So I'm not sure if by you saying that, you created the Akashic record. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how that works. Thank you. Well, you, you can do with a, just a, don't look for it, just a break, you know, just let it come to you. Yeah. It's, it's got a pose. Oh no, I thought you froze there. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> My battery is dying, but I'm here. So, okay. You got a card as well. That card was just to say it was the question about a divine partner. You need a break before you go for it, or it comes to you. You want another card anyway, just for the current signs or not? I missed you at the end. You want a current a card for now? the present yeah okay go ahead please stop there you go soulmate ah oh, i'm surprised what is that <laughs> soulmate <That's> so <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i think i answered it, both yeah. questions really. <laughs> there you go <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> so cool. Yeah, spirit has sense of humor. Huh? <laughs> yeah. 
Absolutely. Okay. Thank you so, so, so much. Just, just like one, one thing with that soulmate. It's, the card also says you can manifest it. So as Deb said, ask for it. And it's manifesting it. Yeah. It's a cool. But ask for soulmate. Yeah. Ask the way you say it is thank you for my soulmate. Thank you. Like you already yeah. have. Okay. Or it's like asking the universe for a soulmate. All right. Yes. Like an order. And the right word is soulmate, not that some puzzle comes again. Yes, you it's know? always soulmate. 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 Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, <Thank> soulmate. <laughs> Okay, thank you so, so much. You're welcome. You too. Yeah. And I love you so much. And love you too. All right. Hey, we go to Janine. Janine. Hi, Janine. Hello, hello. Hello. I missed you guys. All right, Janine, it was... um. You scroll back. Oh. Yeah. Where'd it go? I'm having changes. My mother's going to be taken care of by someone else. And I just, <clears throat> I have all lots of invitations to go different places. And I've already made a few arrangements, but I, I, I don't know. I feel cooler weather, but I, I want to know where my team wants me to go because I'll be free. Wow. I know. I thought this day would never come. Wow. I know. That's fantastic for you. Yes. What do you want to do? I'm totally elated. What do you want to do? That's what Father's saying. What do you, what has been something you've wanted to do in a, for a long time? Be with like minded people and visit and encourage. And, I, you know, I see the, the airplanes and the problems coming up, and I'm worried will I get back from my first trip to Maine? Um, Things are going to be rocky for a while. Um, airports. No, we're not. No, don't, don't say they're going rocky. You're manifesting it. Okay. <laughs> it's going to be great. <laughs> yeah. okay. That's you're, one. You're, you forget you're protected. You know, you're fine. Okay. You, it's all the other people you didn't have to worry about it. The ones that don't, you know, it, okay. you're fine. You are protected. You have to remember that. Nothing's going to bother you. You got me. You're right. I, I completely forgot. I'm not. Yeah. Okay. I mean, come on. When COVID, when COVID was hitting, Rick and I went on a, a, a went on a cruise. <laughs> we were we were traveling all over the place. Oh, we didn't wow. get sick. We did our cruise ship. Yeah. Nobody got sick on that whole ship. Not one person. <laughs> oh wow, that's awesome. Well, I just been like, I never have been the stagnant for this long a period. I'm. I'm, my body's going nuts because I never stay in one place this long and I've been dreaming about it and dreaming about it but uh, where to go first I'm just going to start in Maine and Look, get in the car just, drive yeah the, the card that came up was focus and it's basically you know where you want to go it's in here set the intentions right Ellis yeah like 10 things to do and yeah, when you, you don't, don't have do to fly time. you can drive because <laughs> uh, i can't pronounce this name because it's this I, I don't either i'd give a nickname i get it's d baby because it starts with a d but um yeah, and uh, I'm going to miss my cat, but I'm um, just, I thought maybe, no, I haven't really, my, and my team is telling me, what do you want? And 
That's what I don't know. I have never just been at this point where I can decide what I want and do it. And they're asking me like, okay, let's go. We don't have a plan. So what's your plan? And I don't even know what to say. I thought maybe they would tell me <laughs> today. Well, why, why don't you write a list of 10 things that you would like to do and then see which one draws to you and do that one. Okay. Okay. Set your intentions I, to do that one. Okay. Did um, you, uh, do you ever want to take a trip to Sedona? Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, okay. You have, you have a free, <laughs> if you would like to come out here right now, you, you can stay in our house for free. <laughs> so take a trip. And you yeah. can bring your cat. <laughs> okay. You, you make it quick because we're selling our house. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, <sighs> this is great. I know. We're, we're pet friendly. <laughs> I know. And, and your birds fly around, so you would just adore that because the birds <laughs> here are caged. Um, I know. I'll yeah, miss for bird, friend, bird and cat friendly. <laughs> I remember your, your, your cat. Well, thank you. We have one cat. We only have one cat left. The, the other one died. They, they come and go. Well, they were 20 and 19. They were not young. Oh, yeah. But we miss them. It's a life. But, um, okay. I'll listen. I'm thinking. I'm there's somebody around you. Martha? Who's Martha? No idea. Did you hide? And Jim. There's a Jim. Oh. He said his proper name is James, but he likes Jim. Oh. I've been asking for names recently, but they, they don't come through to me. You have a native, uh, you also have a Native American. Um, you have a female. Um, Lily Hawk, Lily Hawk. Is that right? I guess it translates to that. She says, um, "Did you have a, you had a life? Did you have a lifetime as a native?" I have great compassion for them, and I relate a lot to. You had a lifetime, it said. You had a lifetime as a, a native, and. I I. I'm close with the sky grandmothers and follow them. Um, they're like- You actually had a lifetime as a Seminole. Isn't that funny that you're in Florida? <laughs> I'm, I root for FSU, Florida State Seminoles. <laughs> oh, that's the college. We're talking about the Native American there. <laughs> um, well, they um, do um, show themselves here and I've made peace with them on this land seminoles well that's so funny um yeah. lily hawk so she's one of your guides now um and she's pretty new ah. so they're She's usually when you get new guides, there's some changes going on in your life. So this is why you have a new guide. Have you ever thought of doing healing? Who we what? Healing. Spiritual healing. Like what we do. Have I ever had one? No. Have you ever fancied it? <gasps> oh yes. I'm in the, I'm a uh medical intuitive. I can there you go. Wonder, uh, when I hug uh, people, I get like, I know what's 
eating at them, you know. Well, there you go. There's one of your pups. That's probably one of your guides, actually, because I was picking that up, Deb. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've been uh, touching people and, and seeing things forever. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's what get I your power, Pat, get your power back. <laughs> just... Ooh, nice. Yeah, I, it's just running through me now. Because um, Archangel Raphael's, I'm, a, uh, I'm an aspect of his. And I try and let him tutor me. Oh, Mother Mary is his divine compliment. So you have both. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Yeah. Oh. You are um, definitely, I have a, a group of new guides and that are there to help you with some a new change going on in your life pivotal yes mission critical <laughs> oh. so these are decisions that um just decisions you, that for you to make it's up to you what you would like to accomplish i was married for since i came out of my mother's house and then I wasn't. And since then, I've been taking care of people. So I've never just asked myself, what do you want to do? But this is it. I've been waiting for this. <sighs> okay, you guys. Well, it's time. I feel great. Thank you. This is like explosive. <laughs> I got to go out. I didn't hug a tree. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. This is great stuff for you to just relax and figure out what you want, what you want to do. There's no wrong answer. You'll know as long as you don't overanalyze it and let your heart lead you. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. This is so exciting. I love you guys. I love you too, honey. Okay, okay. I want to cry. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> okay. We go to Diane. Diane is asking for any messages from her higher self or guides mm. Diane is it your husband's name Peter um, no. uh, Ricky. pardon my husband's name is Ricky I can't even hear yeah, you it's very... oh. volume yeah. Can you turn the volume up on your? Yeah. Me now? Yeah. Oh, that's better. That's better. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my husband's called Ricky. Oh, Ricky. That's right. His name. There's a Peter. He's your guide. Oh, thank you. Your higher self is also a male. Okay. Have you merged with your higher self? No, no. I don't know how to do that. It's not hard. You do, the, you know, the three cleansing breaths into your nose and out through your mouth? Uh-huh. You just sit and do that and meditate. I, I do it outside with my feet in the grass. 
and I tell my higher self I'm ready to receive. And the first time I did it, I got a really long download. Um, and that's it. I mean, you are connected to your higher self, but when you acknowledge it and you merge, like do that, I'm ready to receive. It's, yeah. it's a, you actually feel the connection. Oh, that's good. I'll give that a try. Yeah, it's not hard. That's very, very simple. <laughs> I, I'm getting that you're a bit hard on yourself sometimes. Oh, oh yeah. Yourself, Aren't we it? all? <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what the message I'm getting. Yeah, that's true. Women you tend to put ourselves last. We take care because that's the way we were raised. Our mothers did that. Yeah. Everybody came first. We came last. The children, yeah. the husband, you know, the parents. Dad, Dad can you say women nowadays? <laughs> Sorry. Birth, birth person. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's it's true, but it's, you know, it, it is, it's the wrong thing to do. You really have to put yourself first or else you're no good to anybody else. So try doing that. Yeah, well, I'm not very good at that, but I'll, I'll try. <laughs> it, it's true because you really do need to take care of yourself or else you can't take care of anyone else. Yeah, that's right. If somebody needs you. Mm -hmm. Well, we're to ask you what you want to do. Yeah, I think we're okay right now. Sorry, someone's at our door. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't noticed that for the spirit. Yeah. <laughs> that was the ISL. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sabina. Uh, the card I got was balance. Uh, balance means that if you ever need help, just ask for it. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's good. Yeah, balance. Yeah, I think we're good. I'll tell you what, this new camera, the cards are brilliant, though. Yeah, that looks great. Any other questions? I know you only allowed me to talk as we're doing it. Yeah, no, I just sorry. Right. No, no, no. I'm, I, I'm, I'm not done yet. Hold on. I just wanted to let the. Oh, it's it's the guy that you trimmed our our tree in the back. You want to know if we need any work done? I'm sorry. <laughs> um. All right. So, Peter has brought a guy a, another uh, guide max so the two of them have said that there's going to be some changes in your life All right coming up they're not elaborating okay They're kind of new. They're new guides for you. Uh -huh. So once you connect to your higher self, you may feel an energy shift. All right. If you don't feel like the download, you you will get a download um, once you connect to you ask your higher self to um, connect with you. Um, or I'm ready to receive. You may feel a download. Yes. Uh, they're saying that you'll have an expansion happen. Okay. Some things will shift in your life. Uh -huh. You will see in the next month or so. So this expansion is going to help you deal with things that come up in the future. Good. That's good. That's all they're saying um, at this point. That's great. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. And they are added to the normal, the, the ones that you've had all along. And you have, everybody has about 30 
between 30 and 38 guides, angels, you know, it's a team's change according, you know, some like about eight of them come and go according to what's going on in your life. Like we're moving. We have a team that's helping us move. Like they'll cut. They, we have a, a group that's there just to go through this process with us. Mm -hmm. And it's probably to get people to come and buy our house. <laughs> like, urge people to say, oh, yeah, go, go into that neighborhood. <laughs> you know, look at that house. <laughs> Stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like great. I said, you know, I'm giving this to you. Get my house sold. We're supposed to go. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know that that's that's what's happening so things that are happening in your life you have to give you have to give some responsibility to your guides or else because your angels protect you at all times your guides only help you if you ask them to because it's a free will that's yeah. they're there to assist you but you have to say something you have to give the permission yeah so everybody yeah. should know that by now i hope i had to find out the hard way <laughs> now that's magic thank you guys i appreciate that thanks so much you're welcome okay darling let's oh, we next the next we next <laughs> we go to the next one kath kath yeah okay yeah okay he's asking if kath kath <laughs> Asking one of my past lives that are assisting with my future path. That makes sense, guys. Oh, yeah. Can you repeat what? that? That's a bit. <laughs> what? So you've got what? one of your aspects of your, your future life. No, I said her past life. What for? What life from her past life is helping her future life? Well, you yes. were a fairy, and that's helping you. A fairy. Okay. All You're right. A fairy. I feel like I'm going to be working with a specific team uh, amongst others. And I was wondering if they had a message for me immediately because I know who I'm going to be working with. A specific team. Well, a past life. Yeah, a group of people I've been with before. Well, you there's a specific group that you worked with on Lemuria. You were in Lemuria, um, okay. which with uh, dragons. Okay. You still work with the same dragons. All right. Okay. That energy is still with you. The same ones. Right. I'm aware. I work with the dragons. Yeah. Um. You've got an aspect that's the dragon. Right. Oh, no, no, I didn't find them. You will work closely with them, yeah. And that one is near. So the one that you work when you work with them, one of them is actually your aspect from the older film. Okay. Can you see his or her colour? I, I, I've got two now. <laughs> in fact, okay. another one's come in. Uh, it's one one like, a, a, like a shiny purplish yeah well i've got a little like, one is a white one pearl yeah pearlized pearlized mm -hmm. oh, okay but he's he's saying that he changes colors so it he's okay. gonna change yeah that makes sense you get any of them if you work with dragons have you seen any of them i'm aware of the white one the pearly one that's a very close one to you. Yeah, I'm aware of that. will give you information. You could partly merge with that, with that one, actually. Okay. You have a Matthew that's around you a lot. Okay, I'm not sure who Matthew is, but okay. Um, dark hair, blue eyes. He's got silver in his hair. Right. Um,
I guess he's one of your guides. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's very good looking. <laughs> but I think he was human once. Oh, interesting to say that. I've just had a new one that is just, I didn't know the name, but you've just given me, but the description is correct. Yeah, it's very good looking. Yeah, he is. He's from a different race. He's from a different. Sorry. It's all right. It... I didn't know he was called Matthew. Okay. But he's, I think he was human once and he was, he's, um, he's, he says, I've got my guide badge. He's <laughs> talking like this. He's like, I'm a big deal now. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. He's laughing. Uh -huh. Yeah, so he made himself known. He goes, she yeah. likes me. She likes me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just started working together, but yeah, I know who that is. <laughs> yeah, he says, she's going to love me. <laughs> <laughs> nice ego. Okay. <laughs> He's cheeky. <laughs> yeah. So give him, put him to work. <laughs> well, I will. <laughs> if around, I think we're both going to work. We've got a big piece of work to do. Yeah. I said, I said, I said, she's going to make you mop floors. So, so <laughs> keep it on <out> cheeky. <laughs> Can I say can I say which planet he's from or was that confusing? Um he was he actually was a uh, human. He was from here. No, but I know where, where I'm working with him from now. And oh, I okay. Say, oh wait. He's he's from Sirius. Ah, well so are we. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, I'm working with him with a piece of work. Crap, you you won't you probably won't get this yet, but you will do later. But you got okay. a lot of connect. You got a connection, an aspect connected to Buddha. All oh, right. Yeah. Okay. You're very powerful. Right. Okay. That surprises me. But yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's why I say you won't get it yet. No. You might wait. Okay. I don't have any other connections from that are helping you now or I, I've been asked to work with my Native American ancestors it's like I'm healing seven generations but they're bringing me for the work I've done they're bringing me tools or knowledge to help mankind now you have um do you know how Rick and I have the 12 ancestors above us that are always with us you have a I group, didn't you have a okay. We have we have twelve ancestors that are with us all at all times. Right. Okay. About your own group that are always with you. Did you uh -huh. know? That? I didn't know. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You have you have a group of they're called we call ours the ancestors. Yeah, I, I'm yeah. very aware of the answer. Yeah, but I'm that is something. Yeah, but you have a group. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. You have a group, and I'm trying to see how many there are. Mine are telling me about yours. Okay. You have six. Okay. That are with you at all times and they stand with you. And we have them, um, they're almost like they're. I always picture mine in a circle above us. Yeah, that's how I Theirs see it. are similar above you. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. In a circle. Mm -hmm. So anytime you need them, they're just there. They're always there. They're ne they never leave you. Well, I didn't know that. Okay. So you should feel their energy. So now to make you aware, those are they're all shaman. Bye -bye, shaman. Okay. Have you ever, I try and connect as you can. So they were all medicine men, shaman energy. That's exactly what I'm working with here.
all from different tribes. Mm -hmm. So they work together. Mm -hmm. Different families, different tribes, I guess you would call it. But You're making me go cold when you say that, like a cold shiver through me. So in other words, you would have Mayan, all mm -hmm. different generations. Yeah. They're all North American, Canadian, you know, certain Canadian, U.S. and Mexico. Okay. South American, all the tribes of the of. Uh, North and South America. Uh -huh. It's just like, I think it's like ancient knowledge that's got lost for a big farmer who wanted to, you know, it was convenient for them, but now they're bringing that to me. Well, that's why you need them. That's why they're there. No, no. I, and, as, I and as it goes, as it goes on, if you need someone, if you need someone else, they're going to bring another one through that, that, that could be. You have six right now. If you need more, they'll, mm -hmm. they'll increase it. But right now you've got the six. Mm -hmm. I know it sounds weird, but I feel like the Syrian people and the ancestors will work together in some way. Well, these are from yes. the stars. That's where that's what Rick, Rick and I brought other shamans with us. We brought them with us. And that's why we're with, we brought 11 others right. with us. And they're all shamans. Uh huh. Okay. We didn't discover this until last year, or the year right. before. Right. So we brought all these shamans with us, and they're all, they're spread throughout the United the world, they're spread all over the world, and that's when we discovered the twelve ancestors above us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, I didn't know, but that's good to know. Do, do you know, Cap? It's too late now, but I was going to say that once once these six connect and they've given the information that the next ones will be the galactic ones, but you right. say it anyway, you said it anyway. <laughs> no, but that, I believe that Phil, that's, that's where yeah. it's going. It's, yeah. it's like the other day I was told I'd be working, you know, doing a lot of astral work, but we normally it's a smaller group, but we're moving up to 24 apparently working at the same time. Yeah. There's so, a, I, there's mine ships above us. The nine, other right? Yeah. Yeah, Mayan. I'll, I'll, I'll send you a video that you might find interested. In. It was uh, it was the one we were talking about yesterday. It's, uh, yeah. This person channeled all the galactics, and they gave the uh, sing symbols for each galactic, and the yeah. energy from it. You'd be interested, I think. Very much so. Yeah. So I'll send it to you. But I am. Um... Yeah, I work for a couple of galactic councils, I'm aware of that. But it's it's just what I'm trying to say is it's like ancestral past life meeting future lives together. So it's a cohesion in some way. I don't know how it's this is gonna I just know it's a knowing, do you know, but you don't know all the detail yet. Sometimes you do it to change the timeline back to its original because the dark beings oh. have changed that many timelines that yeah. we've got beings that do the same and put it back to what it was uh, okay all right interesting but right. i just yeah <laughs> my my consciousness is really expanding and i'm seeing things that are like whoa which is amazing wow well moment we're all doing that right now you know yeah so I, we are, these symbols that I'll send you, I saw a, a Lemurian temple being built around me. Wow. 40 foot high. Oh my God. And then I got a blessing. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. If you're open, or I mean, Deb was saying at the beginning, she could see that the veil is like watery. It's so, so, so thin at the minute. Mm. And we're being. The, the, the Lemurian energies are here now. We're near enough in Lemuria now. Right, yeah. right, right. But I just know everybody here that's on the earth right now, that's a light worker, they're healing seven generations back, which will free up seven generations to come. We're doing very important work right now for every single one of us. We're just not always aware of it, that's all. 
It's fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> Is that one of your aspects? <laughs> Sorry. My mind a bit, really, but yeah. That's why I always want to see, I was hoping you'd be able to say, so the past will meet the future, and then, but you've just, just explained it because they're trying to return a timeline. So Back that makes, this. I can do that now. Yeah. Okay. There's been a lot of uh, mini. Oh, it's like how many Mandela effects is it? It's because our timelines are being manipulated so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I can imagine. Yeah. Mine's linked to medicine, though. It's kind of like, as I say, big pharma. There has always been an illness and a, a cure uh, through Native American medicine or other ways, but they hid them for so long. But now they're coming to the surface. Mm. That's it. Yeah. As I would like to ask when you mentioned that the veil the veil is um, thinning, and you mentioned mm -hmm. we see watery, yes, like water yes, like floating. I it did, yeah. To me, yeah, for a few minutes it happened to me, and and I was thinking, but only one eye. Right. I even okay. think, I think only from one eye. It, was so that your third to... eye? Was that your third eye when you were, where were you? Were you awake or were you sleeping? I was awake. I was in the garden. Ah. I always walk, walk barefoot with, on the grass because I like it. And I was in the garden and only one eye. So I ran up. <laughs> I was afraid. Of, what am I? What is this? It's really like floating. And then I, I oh, you saw you saw an energy. You saw an energy. Yeah, I called my daughter. I, what happened? Can you see it? Can you see it? Yeah. She, she she was so afraid. Mama, mama, you have to go to the doctor. Mama. <laughs> 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 but then it was gone. It was gone. Like, no, you saw that's minutes. it's actually that's an energy. That's how, when Rick sees energies. That's how they are before they take. Before they take a human form, that's what they look um, like, like an, an angelic or an so archangel or, or extended is. master. Yeah, that's what they look like. But what I mm -hmm. I was waking up and I was uh, I was asleep, waking up, and my third eye opened, and that that's when they showed me. I was standing and looking out, and they. How showed will you me know that your third eye? It was open. it was the veil of the world, and I it showed me this darkness on it, it had gotten small like they were it was almost like mm. part of the world was getting enveloped in darkness and then mm. the rest of the world was in light and but yeah. i could see through it i could see this watery substance it was like water mm. like wave mm. and mm. i asked what am i looking at and they said the you, you see the veil that's the veil it's getting thinner oh, but yeah. it, like a, only a portion of the world was in darkness the rest of the world was seeing the light. They could see. They were awake. They were I awakened. So is what they were showing me. So but only this part, only this smart, <laughs> this much was still in darkness. Is what they were showing me. So the world was awake. How much, much more the world is awake than we think. I was scared that I will fall down because I really saw it. <laughs> thank you, thank you for sharing, Cassie. Thank you. Thank no, you. Was, we were there early on, but um, the when, the minute we sort of, when we've been asleep and we're just awaking, the very first thought, picture, image, sight, whatever you're seeing or feeling, that that's a message from spirit. That split second between awake and sleep. That's why Deb got it then because she was at, at energetically at the right frequency to, for them to connect with her. So every single morning now when you wake, what is your very first thought or feeling, whatever, because that's spirit giving you a message. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah. That's that's happened two times in the last two weeks where wow. I saw this, I saw that. <laughs> Can I give you some that I do that I haven't oh, said yeah. before? <laughs> when I do healing at the healing center. I do a lot. Of, if I'm just hearing it, I scry your sky. You know where you you look blurred. You blur your eyes. So you don't you go out of focus. And you, yeah. if you're in the zone and do it deeply enough, you can start seeing the energies in the room, and you can yeah. actually manipulate the energies with your hands, which is quite cool. So if people, if you can see like negative energies in someone's auric field, you can actually pull it out. You manipulating it. Now, if you go further in the zone, 
really deep in the zone, you start seeing symbols on the building blocks around me. You actually see it, and they're all made of symbols. Oh, and if you get further go in the sound, that's when you see the spirit world. But you never tell them that you see them because you just get cues of cues of people. Wow. I, I just ignore them. <laughs> I don't want to give messages. I mean, how do you get that deep though, Phil? Because that's that's hard to do. You've obviously practiced years and years, but because I do healing the uh, healing center, let's see, we do four or five people, twenty minutes at a time, and sometimes I've done the job. I've, I've fixed them basically. And I start messing with the energies and start looking. What I've also started doing is I've started putting crystal source energy in the beds. Yeah. And I'm putting right. spiral, two spiral uh, platinum ray rings that goes up and down their body while I do right. the healing. So they're in like a, a light bed. And at the end, I, I give them cent, uh, central spun in the auric field, which is a bit like source energy. So it's building the, yeah, building the auric field. But I don't so tell they, people. Because that, that's amazing, amazing. Yeah, but I don't I tell think, people that, but it's, it's for good fun. Yeah. No, that, that's very powerful. But Steve Noble at the minute on his YouTube, he's doing um, the Archerian Medical Team. It's like a chamber, a bed, med, bed chamber. And you just listen to it, but you're invoking and calling forward the Archerian people. And it's I've been recently quite ill, and I've been really? going on that. Uh, and it's helped me a lot. The, the, the guy who does the sound healing, I went on one yeah. of his ceremonies, which is like mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, I've never been on it, but I went to, I wanted to go there because Sophie wanted to go there, so I wanted to test it. And I was looking yeah. at me healing, and he, I, he was doing some healing and an Aptorian being merged with him. I saw that being merged with him. Yeah. And when he was doing that shaking, you could see the outline of the other being, which is great. Now I I did some of his healing recently, and it's like that. Yeah. Very fast. And light language comes out. Every time I do it, light language comes out. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I know all the light language. I don't know that one. That's a new one. And it's not Victorian. I don't know where it is. Yeah. Awesome. That's amazing, seriously. I, I won't go into the long detail, but I saw I was sharing something recently where in the future, we can write music where it combines light codes, color, sound, and sacred geometry. But you can almost like put knitting one, knit one, pearl one, boring. But when you can make an elaborate job, whatever it is, in the future, we will be able to incorporate those things: light, color, sound, sacred geometry. But but just by writing it, it will appear, and that will help. That's what I'm saying. Our minds are, they've always been there, but our consciousness is, is perceiving them, I suppose, now. We're being but shown them. When he was doing this, well, sorry, I can't help me light language. When he was doing this very, very fast, the person he wasn't even touching was like to, going up and down with him jumping. <laughs> he was actually oh fixing his uh, shadow because he's got addiction. Mm -hmm. He was actually fixing it. And I, would, I remember. Can I find him where is it's at the lighthouse in uh, uh, Openshaw. I'll send you a link. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll put you on his WhatsApp. There you go. <laughs> yeah, sounds, I'll, I'll give you a WhatsApp link. Healer. He sounds amazing. Well, what is amazing is uh, after the lights, after the sound healing on a Thursday, uh, everyone's gone. We do healing on each other. That's yeah. good, isn't it? <laughs> That last time we saw loads of aspects of animals. Wow. Anyway, thank you for your time, guys. Thank you so, 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 so much. And that's very insightful. And thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank much you. Welcome. Thank you, Kat. We have thank the next one. Linda. Linda is asking for um, some uh some love close future or the older man she met will he keep being in her life as a help or is there some love with it so she has someone in her life now will he stay Longer or forever with her? Is there what?
Father wants to know, are you happy? Yeah. Linda? Huh? Father wants to know, are you happy? Uh, that's a hard question. Uh, no, it's not. You... No, go in your heart. Are you happy? Uh, no. Does this man make you happy? Uh, uh, yeah, a little, but... Uh, no, this man doesn't make you happy. A little is not happy. <laughs> <laughs> no. But I know that he's a help for me, but... Yeah. yeah. You answered your own question, but you don't want to hear the answer. Yes, I won't. But it's only that... Yeah, but, <laughs> but, so where, where's the I, but? <laughs> I, no, but I doubt that he he really will help me because he acting so strange right, right now. So this is what I have doubt of. But I feel and I know that uh, he's not my next love. Yeah, yeah. This I know. But uh, yeah, in your heart, he, in your heart. Is this the person for you? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, you have your answer. So okay. that is not the person for you. Is there a person for you? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. But it's not. It is not him. No, no. And uh, yeah, yeah. But this, this I know. It's only that we will he will he be the help for me or is it or is he leaving me now? I mean, uh, will he stay and help me for like one year? Because somebody else told me that he came <laughs> to me to help me. I don't see one year. How about you, Phil? I see a stepping stone. Stepping stone. You, you, you've got two paths, actually. It's your decision. Yeah, I've got two. Uh, my advice would be uh, just enjoy while it's there and wait for right. the next person. I don't uh, hear and understand what you are saying. You could, you've got two paths. I see two. Uh, My advice is enjoy it while it's lasting and I think something else will come. Mm -hmm. Something else is coming around the corner. I, I do not see it uh, lasting a year was what I... Mm. I don't, there's no guarantee for a year. No. But there's many reasons for that, that I, that I, I, I don't, I don't feel comfortable saying. No. No, it's only because. Um, timelines, timelines change is what it is. And, and I, you know, I'm not, I'm not as, we have psychic abilities, but I'm not as, I don't like doing psychic saying psychic things. Do you understand? Because timelines change. I can say something and it may not happen or it may happen. I don't want to say it, but I'm just yeah. saying, I'm, I'm not comfortable telling you, oh yes, stay with them for a year. No, I'm not comfortable saying that. I don't see. No. It, I don't see a possibility of it lasting a year. No. I see, it, I, I'm doubtful that it would last a year. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm totally with you because this is also my feeling. Uh, no, it's it's a little confused because I'm married right now, but uh, I know things will change. And then 
uh, it came to me that this man came to my life to help me what will come. And also now I have just taken a decision. So I will go to a trip to Mexico. And here I have very much feeling that something very big will happen. Uh, I mean, I can really feel that I, I will go to Mexico. So I think I will have many answers with this trip. And uh, I also, I mean, I, I, I know what I feel with my marriage and stuff, and I know what it will end up with, but uh, it was only this, I was thinking about this man, why he came, why is he, is he and help for me? And now he acting so strange. So that's why I was doubt that is he really gonna help me? Because I don't really feel it right now. So that's that's why I was asking about him. So some people on your journey to help you during that time. Remember that they help you at that time, and then you go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. no. A lot of these uh, people that you you've had like an aspect past life with. They're, they're just yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I also know that he's one of my. Um, soul family we are not soulmates and anything but he's he's a soul family to me and we have a uh, karma from past lives this i know yeah which is good to clear hmm. uh yeah so it was only that and yeah or if you saw something about my marriage this man or because we have been together for 20 years. Um, yeah, also my trip to Mexico. Yeah. It was, this is what I was spinning around in my head. Heart. Your messages, you get the right messages. You understand it. You know what's, what's right when you're getting it through your heart. So always follow that. Mm. You already know what's right. Yeah. You know, your, your intuitive abilities are really strong. Mm hmm Yes. Yeah. Are you still unhappy where you live? Yes. Yeah, it doesn't, it's not helping your situation. No. Is there a possibility of you moving back to your home? No, no. No? I will never go back to where I'm born in this country. No, no. No. Finish. No. <laughs> where do you want to live? I don't know. <laughs> but I feel very connected to Mexico. I haven't been there, but it feels like I have lived there before. I don't know. I'm not sure that uh, Mexico would be the right place, but. No, maybe just for a trip, but where are you yeah, going? I, I, where are you going in Mexico? Tulum. Ah, uh, very American. Yeah. Very spiritual. 
Mm -hmm. That's where I'm going. Well, you have to realize that there's um, it's touristy, and a lot mm -hmm. of um, very wealthy Americans live there. It's not what it's <laughs> very wealthy mm -hmm. spiritual people starting mm -hmm. starting all these uh spiritual camps there. Yeah, they have they have um spiritual mm -hmm. retreats that cost thousands and thousands of dollars that most of oh. them that most of us can't afford. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> uh huh. I, I do see a change next year, by the way. Yeah, a mm -hmm. little bit of Natasha. Yeah. A change in your life. Yes. Uh, Big change. Mm -hmm. But I can't yes. tell you what. <laughs> I, 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 I know. I already well, know. Yeah, you know, we really it's it's hard for us. So we can we can channel information and but there's decisions that you ultimately have to make for yourself. Yes. But people have to remember that you have to make it through your heart. If you don't make it through your heart and, and you start analyzing through your head, when you make it through your head, the, the, the answers are never right. Mm. The, the decisions are never right. You have to no. definitely decide through your heart because that's the best decisions for everybody. Mm -hmm. those, are, those are the decisions that are um, made with your in, with your intuitions and your soul. Yes. This is your ego. <laughs> this this mm -hmm. is not the and right one to make it with. I have listened to my ego too many years. And uh, this year, I have really opened my heart. That's why I know what I will do yeah. because I'm I'm 100% I feel it and I I already took the decision yeah mm. you have uh, really really strong instincts into in, intuition there's um you're an you're an empath too aren't you you feel do you feel others emotions yes yeah you're an empath yeah So sometimes you have anxiety, you get anxiety attacks. Mm -hmm. That's when you um, haven't released other people's emotions. So that when you get anxiety or buildup of, of anxiety, you need to go outside and release or take a, a crystal and let go of other people's emotions, release it. Like if you're, if people dump on you, like if they tell you all their problems, make sure you're releasing it because that's not yours. It's not your baggage. No, yes. Mm. Let it go. Don't yes. think about their problems anymore. Let it go. Give them, you know, let, you know, understanding, give them understanding and love, but don't carry their problems with you. That's when you start getting anxiety. You don't know why you're having anxiety attacks. Mm -hmm. that's because you you carried everybody else's burdens on your shoulders that's like, yes. you're, like you're, you're balancing all these boxes mm -hmm. and then the anxiety attacks. i'm an empath too and i didn't understand why i was having anxiety attacks there's no reason and that's wow. from, from all of that i was carrying mm -hmm. my brother's problems my sisters my friends my aunts my uncles my mothers I was afraid of death I was afraid of dying I was the Catholic school was screwing up with my head and telling me things and uh I was not sold I was having anxiety attacks what nine-year-olds mm -hmm. have those it started yeah. I'm definitely with you uh, we are very uh, similar yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I also had yeah yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, totally. You have to get rid of it. You have to. Every, and if every empath I know was having anxiety attacks. Mm. Get rid of everybody else's problems. Put it into the crystal. Get walk in the grass. Release it in the grass. They're not yours. It's not yours. You can't drive mm. everybody else's car. They're driving. Mm. You can take over. <laughs> Let them drive their life, and you drive your life. Yes, absolutely. 
I'm totally. That's what the, that's that's what the anxiety is from. Everybody else's crap on your shoulders. Mm. At least you're ailing them. Yeah. Huh? At least you you you're ailing them when you do that. You're taking their strength and uh, negative energy off them. So you could be good either. You just need yes. to find yeah. a way of getting rid of it. Mm. Yeah. Totally true. Yeah, no, but it's exciting. You'll be fine. Um, uh, one of the aspects suggested create a anxiety being that eats anxiety. So when it comes into you, it just eats it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, actually. You could do that. Yeah, yeah an anxiety doll. Here you go. Here's my anxiety. <laughs> Take it. Take it, take it, take it. Yeah. <laughs> Each anxiety sends out love. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, you've just gotten an energy burst from Creator, just right to your heart. It's white light. It's an Unless expansion. Let's give you a card. You want to stop or shall I just press it? Um, stop. You just got to take care of your body. Body care? Yeah, you got to take care of your body because you're an empath. <laughs> because yeah. you are? An empath. Empath, when you take empath. other problems, it manifests into a physical problem. You gotta be careful. So yeah. you got an energy burst from uh, Creator, and, which will give you an expansion. Um, you should feel it going through for the next few hours. Okay. It's uh, in your in your chest, your heart. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Lots going on in the heart. So I really need that. <laughs> mm. You'll be fine. Just stay in your heart and you're going to be fine. Just trust, trust in yourself. Don't go yes. to every don't go to other people. Trust in you. Mm. I promise. Good. Mm. Ah, yeah, thank you very much You're welcome. for the message. And uh, yeah, thank you very, very much. Okay. We go Guys, now. I'll see you all soon, but much love and really some time Bye, Kat. tonight. Bye, Kat. Bye, Kat. Bye, Kat. Sorry, I've not eaten. I need to go. Bye bye. See you soon. Bye. Right. Much love. Bye. I think me dog heard you say, heard the calf say, eating. He's looking at me now. <laughs> he knows English words. Julian is on. And I can't believe, what is your... Julian. Julian, Julian. Julian. You looking better? Thanks. Any messages which are allowable to come through after waiting and feeling all this time? Let's see. Oh, I wanted to tell Linda. Linda, just have some fun. Have some boyfriends. Enjoy life. Don't overthink it. Go on some dates. You know what I mean? Yeah, just have a Have, have some boyfriends all at the same time. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> have a fun date. <laughs> joking, sorry. What was the question for Jillian, sorry? She's allowing any messages to come through. Mm -hmm. Oh, Archangel Michael's here. He's pushing Philip out of the way. Hi, Michael. Is he what I saw? The... Sorry, I was going to say something. Standing right behind you, hands on your shoulders. He said, I'd give you my sword, but I don't trust you. 
<laughs> Not my own. <laughs> I don't need any more. <laughs> he goes, he goes, mine's bigger. <laughs> um, good. We need some big ones. <laughs> nah, he can trust me. You know, you do quite a big job in Astra, you know. When you're asleep, you do a lot of work. I bet you wake up tired. Mm. I don't, yeah, I'm not that tired. It's just, I don't know what's even kind of real anymore. And I wake up with injuries and I remember all the dreams are very interesting. <clears throat> really? A lot of dreams. Dreams. What? A lot of dreams though. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I had a, a, a weird one where I was in some kind of Jeep or something and then we were kind of driving off like waterfalls or cliffs or caves or something and whoever was in the passenger seat was like we went down but they didn't have their seatbelt on or something I kept holding their heads down to stay in the to stay in but they were popping up and I was like thinking like why like why they make the cars this way or something it was weird they were just popping out I don't That's know I have it a might lot not be a car <laughs> <laughs> I can only imagine on a spiritual journey with a little bit of a 3D head on. <laughs> yeah, life's weird. Yeah, you should be proud of the work you do. You do a lot of good work. Good. Thank you. You do a lot of good work. Archangel Michael, Arch mm -hmm. Archangel Michael did say, he, he just said to me, she is a badass. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. I do like get this like urge to like just go kick ass. <laughs> I think you not do. Not for like no reason, not to just fight, just because people, I don't, beings need to learn, I don't know, or like to defend or just not. If yeah. You do. Yeah. Not take any shit. There's too much shit taken on this planet. <laughs> so you you just saw cut someone that someone's head off and say love and light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She is in this planet. It's uh it's so easy to see now. You don't hide it anymore, do you? It's it's not hidden yeah. anymore. Yeah. Yeah, some people are too blind to see it. It's a bit strange. Yeah, I, it feels like a different world. It feels like two two different worlds at the same time, isn't it? Two timelines are mingled together. It feels like many. Yeah. I and then I and yeah, they change. Sometimes I leave hints for myself, and and I find them that. Yeah, post notes. <laughs> this is <isn't> yeah. real. <laughs> um I there was one I had this ink and it was the advanced white alcohol ink that I use for art and resin and then like all of a sudden one day there was two advanced whites and there was never ever two advanced whites. Um <laughs> and I told my friend Trish and then she was like there wasn't no advanced whites and I'm like of course the, the goofy advanced whites are you know they're procreating and trying to you know Duplicate well, well, already, but and take over, but yeah, one of the weirdest timelines that I I still don't get me head over it. Mona Lisa smiles, but in my timeline, she didn't. And I wrote an essay at school to say why she didn't do why she didn't smile. Now she does. I, I, I was thinking, I wish I had my English book. <laughs> See what new projects I'd written. <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah. Even some mm -hmm. people, I swear, I remember them, and I'll ask somebody about them, and I, I have a, pr from my perspective, I have a pretty good memory, but and then I'll know it was them or something, and then people will say, oh, it's not them or something. There's a lot of changes, I guess, or I don't know. I don't know if people are getting their, their minds wiped or erased, or I know their minds are connected to the grids. The grids are changing, consciousness uh is changing. I wouldn't be surprised if it's that CERN thing that they turned off. I wouldn't be surprised yeah, if that manipulates yeah, uh, timeline. It's, it's pretty insane here, but 
it's it's okay i'm down with the weird i'm kind of bored actually <laughs> same shit different timeline i don't know i actually saw you riding a dragon mm. are you allowed to tell me like a, a name or anything I see you in a black outfit riding a dragon working for the light. Yeah. <laughs> but you're not doing much light work when you're doing it. Like a witch? Yeah, but for the light. No, you're you're working for the light. But you, you look well, dark. Like but you're not... black, so what? White stains. No, what I'm saying is you look dark, but you're not, you, you're fighting the, the dark. Yeah. yeah, I have a quote. Maybe you, you can now banter this, like, I just is in terms of light like I'm a, I'm light and a good person in love and all that I don't mean like vengeful things or hateful things to anybody but I just hate like light I, I'm trying to see where that comes from like I I can't like if people are like oh it's a bright sunny day I'm like ah. but I've always been <laughs> like, like I hate it. I hate it. Yeah, I'm serious and I just I wonder where that comes from and like yeah I'm, I get it light worker blah blah, blah but like I was just, I, I just don't like light. If people are like, oh, just imagine a bright the, white the, light. The thing is, what warrior, people who do shamanic stuff tend to have dark and white. And you're, you need because to you're that. used to, you're used to um, working in, against the dark, in the dark. So the light hurts your eyes. Okay. Yeah, it does. It does. <laughs> yeah. It's not like you don't like the light. It just bothers you since yeah. you you're you not used to it. Yeah, the light being. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It does. It hurts my eyes. And I like feel it in my brain. It like burns it. I just don't like it. Yeah. But I was I always just like thought that was funny. And people and like, don't you oh. work? You work at night, so you're out at night working. You, I love you. That. You're mixing with dark energies, and that that doesn't help. Yeah, it might yeah. be worth grounding yourself when you wake up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, might be worth doing a bit of grounding. Yeah. Oh, did, was there a dragon name at all? Or I'm looking. It starts, I, with a, it starts with a D. I've, I've got picked a card for you, and it's Archangel yeah. Michael. He seems to be everywhere. <laughs> Michael. Yeah, he's with you a lot. Good, thank you. D Z J O. You got pain on your neck. R. Jillian, have you got pain on your neck? Mm -hmm. Well, add pain. Uh, no, I just have some kind of, I don't, some kind of creature in my ear still on the left I, side. I've just picked up an energy off you. DZ, DOR. These beings, you might be picking them in uh, while you're asleep, while you're doing astral work. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Okay, I, I, this, is, this is how he spelled it, D-Z-J-O-R. D A L K I R Y Z K. Okay. <laughs> now you tell me what that name is. Jor de la Karakzik. He said that's the English spelling. Well, or, or English translation. Phil's English translation. He said, give him a nickname easy he said call me jack <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> <laughs> tell me about jack <laughs> he's black with red um pearl eyes like around the black there's like red pearl eyes you I, I, he said I can change color for right now. 
he's pearlized it's shiny and beautiful and, and it, like this hue of red he said we go into dark places so he likes to be not seen with you so you like to not show up for people they don't want to they, we don't want to be seen mm -hmm. but he can turn into a white and purple and orange and whatever color you want but right now that's the color that you guys use cool I don't even know how to say that name. He just said it and I, I just went, <laughs> I can't say it. <laughs> it's like speaking Welsh. <laughs> Sorry, anybody that's, <laughs> that's part Welsh. There's no vowels. <laughs> There's very little vowels. That's really cool. Where, do, like, where do we go? Or can you tell me any of the missions or experiences? <laughs> he said, "If we tell them, we have to kill them." <laughs> He's joking. We're not afraid to die. You do go, you're going 4D a bit, by the way. That's not quite that. Well, that's a lot of 4D is where the bad beings are. You probably pretend to be one of them. We get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> with your sword in the back, you know, like uh, Brave Art in the back of your neck. <laughs> you go where the missions are, wherever you're assigned. Yeah. Most of them are being boarded. Is that like a reptilian dimension? It's reptilians in grave. And draconians as well. I go there quite frequently. Yeah, you run into Phil a lot from what he's saying. Did I scratch you, Phil? No. no you're, you work on the I same don't think we. I don't think we're that close. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, we we you thought yeah we 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 probably do uh, missions to go. I think I seen you at the underworld bar. The underworld bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So you you bring back the injuries because uh, that's just the brain creating the memory of the injury. So the brain. You come back with the energy of the battle and the memory, and the brain sees that memory and creates it into a physical injury. But it, go, it should go very quick. Yeah. It's weird. Do they go? They fade away after a day or so? Yeah, a few days ago. I I got injured last night with that one of them things. The minute uh, my, my foot still hurts a bit, but uh, I took on too much last yesterday. Do yours go away too? Uh, I have like a new one. Mm. Yeah, do they go quick? Mm. So I'm here and it looks like, I don't know, there's a couple like what look like kind of needle marks or something. This one finally healed. That was a weird one. Yeah. That's weird. That looks like I had stitches or something. And like, um, that, yeah, that took a, while, a long time to heal. About six months my chin took about eight uh these but are sometimes, new sometimes if it is really bad you get you can go to the angelic world for you. So, um yeah. my ear is still i don't know it's still uh ripped apart kind of and it's like there's uh i don't know like scorpion tails around it or uh, alien worms or some shit i don't know it's gross but mm. that's still working itself out or goo or some shit do, do i have black goo am i gooed up or is that just i think everybody... we cleared the black glue last night didn't we <laughs> yeah we did we cleared mostly i'll be back again i'm not guaranteeing anything in this room yeah 
Especially most of it comes from Orion anyway. Yeah. So if they, they like the Odys, you, a lot of some of your missions are probably Orion. Uh, you probably bring back the you probably bring back uh, injuries, uh, being you know a parasite, a spiritual parasites from it from the missions, black goo and uh, injuries that are baffling baffling injuries, aren't they? It's all to do with the work you do. You Just ground do yourself it. before you get out of bed. I do everything. Um, I don't even know uh, if grounding. Yeah, yeah, I ground. I I have tuners too. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I think that I guess it's only so much helps here on Earth, but sometimes you. You, you know, when it's a battle and we all charge, you're probably at the front. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I go a bit back a little bit. Yeah. Bit. Michael just used, I think, observed. And then helps me now and again. And reminds me every time I see him. What about um like any guides' names or did they all resign by now? No, they haven't. No call, no show. <laughs> you have uh, a, one named Timothy. Timothy? Yeah, one named Sam. Cool. Um, another named. I don't even know how to say Alois. Aloysius. Alois. A Aloysius, Aloysius, Al, just call him Al. You know, you've got a few protectors. Give me these names Aloysius, Aloy, Al, call him Al. Um, I can say Aloysius, it's fine, just because okay. they're different names doesn't mean I have to make them short. It's fine, you, it's cool. You do have a few, you do have a few protectors as well. Because of what the work you do. That, that sounds like you do quite high up. Right? Who who are the protectors? Angelic. Angels. You've got the angels protect you. Right there. Yeah, your angels protect you, your guides, you need to give them work to do. Guy and angels are automatically protectors. Yeah. I I've got I got two as well. One day I asked her traveled onto a tree facing this healing center and I said are you protecting us <laughs> and uh they were good. they just couldn't believe that I knew about possibly who are they I don't know just protectors <laughs> I didn't ask for the oh didn't you say the angel ones You've got two angel ones. Your angels have been with you um, since you were born. Um, Patricia, Lee. I've got. I'm picking one here. That one of a, a very powerful one, Samuel. Why would it? Well, that's an archangel. I know. There you go. Doesn't he help with the dark realms? Hmm. Samuel? No, he won't do it. He, he, he You're talking Samuel, C H A M U E L? Samuel. Samuel. Here's an archangel. What did he do? I gave you something. Have a Diane as well, the angel Diane. Hello, Diane. You actually chose these angels before you incarnated, and the guides. I have a question, um, you, Phil. You talk about like you go to your person's Akash, and there's like a hallway with a book, right? What does my like hallway look like? Yeah. 
It's like gothic. <laughs> <laughs> Are you surprised? It looks very I dark. Can't... You, you, whatever your, whatever you represent now is every all of you. All of you are very similar. You get what I mean? So they all have that nasty dark side to them. Do you get what I mean? But you're working for all Irish as well. Like, what are the decorations? The table. You know, this would look good if you didn't have this built. It's like... Uh, it's a black table. It's jagged all the way around. Jagged all the way around. That's a weird thing. It's like a... A deep, like a, a bold, deep thing, red thing in the middle. I don't know why that's red thing. Your book, your book looks like something from uh, Hocus Pocus. <laughs> <laughs> hasn't got an eye, man. It hasn't got an eye. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, oh. Yeah, yeah. I think that's just a crazy, your crazy size just. Done an impression into it. If you know I mean. yeah. yeah, I was just wondering about the de decor. Do you know what the floor looks like? Yeah, black and white. No, I'm joking there. Yeah, joking. You know, I wrote checkers on the bottom. <laughs> black and white checkers. <laughs> exactly what I just said. There you yep. go. <laughs> black and white. <laughs> just like my floor. I like checkers. My satanic <clears throat> floor. Yeah. My mason floor. <laughs> My mason floor. Yeah. Anything else? Um. Uh. Like I've, a couple people have told me that, in terms of like lives and things like that, like that I've lived them all. Like, so you, you lived in this, is this kind of being, is this kind of being, like, and, um. You, you're quite old. Yeah, I'm yeah. surprised if you've had most life. Is that, like, common, or, like, what is that? No, no I mean, every, no. everyone's different. I mean, we're, Rick and I are really, really old souls. We've had thousands of lives. You, you, you match us. A library card, and you, like, check, they're like, okay, Palladian, okay, <laughs> um earth being okay person on mars like what's on the card for the experience i i have no idea i don't get into the akashic record so like what's like <laughs> when you make your soul contract or agreement to come in is there like I a didn't. desk and a person checking you in and like a library card and like the boxes you've already been how i'm just interested in that i don't we know choose. we choose we choose you sit down with your you sit down with your guides and you say well you know this is this is what I want to experience this time, and I want to correct that, and I want to correct that, and you know this yeah. is the car this is the karma that we I need to, you know, make right, and you know you can do it. You can choose where you want to go. You don't have to go to Earth. You can go to other places. Yeah. What happens when you complete the card? You can take time off, or you can make the you can. You can you know. <laughs> Do, do you know Samuel? Your Samuel. vibration goes up. Do you understand? You go up in vibration. I'm just Samuel. wondering if you get in and out privileges or like you get a new like sword or like you go on a cruise or. Yeah, what do you want to do? I mean, what you make choices, you, you know, and you, your vibration. Yeah, I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering. It's just you go, up, you go up to different categories. Like, you know what I mean? Do, yeah. do you know what Samuel, Samuel, where he at the end is? Uh, some people think he's the white Satan. <laughs> he's a white Satan. No way. Usually, he's white Satan. Yeah, white Satan. Attempting to sin, he, he tempts people to sin. Mm. It sounds like you, doesn't it? Sounds like fun. I get bored. <laughs> Somebody's okay. got to like. Energies, yeah, we right? choose we choose our experiences too so you know you yeah. 
what yeah. challenges are you up to this life you know <laughs> what do you want to do i was just wondering do you know how, like how many like options are on the card for what you can when you choose i'm just curious are there like hundreds of lives you can live or The one each, here, part, each life is a each each life you choose what experiences that you want to have it's not yeah. something that the guides don't say to you oh this is your minimum you this is the minimum that you can choose no you choose it we don't Ma they yeah. most most of us who are here is to uh three -er. it, it it's more like a project it's not really like contracts as such we can get rid of karma and stuff like that but it's to lift to lift yeah. this vibration. Like and, uh, uh, and... This is a different one than most of the other lives. Yeah, because yeah. we're helping Earth ascend and yeah. all that. And um, and then like anything you can connect me to or tell me about uh, my connections to the fairy realm. I know I bring the the fairy vibe into this environment, but anything um like further. I think that's interesting. I'm really interested in the fairy pools too. You, weren't, you were not a fairy you were more like a um pixie pixie yeah. <laughs> i don't even know what one of them is uh, <laughs> i'll have to google that it wasn't a yeah it was a pixie not a fairy yeah. okay i just had the fairy realm there's yeah it was in the stuff. fairy realm the realm. What do pixies do? I get these messages and I don't even know what they mean. What is your message? Yeah, you're a pixie. I'm not sure what pixies do. They actually help the animals that they they really didn't have a lot to do with the humans. Mm. Where the fairies um, had more to do with humans. Believe it or not, they the pixies. Were more involved with the animals in the forest and um, even like farm animals and domesticated animals. Hmm, I'll have to look into that. That's the information I'm getting from creator. They're a little bit bigger than fairies. Actually, a lot bigger than fairies. It looks like. Fairies are a couple of inches, and pixies are a little bit bigger than that. Initially, I got pixies as a, a band. That's I was great. thinking pixie dust, but. Like tiny elf like spirit. Yeah. Yeah. You know, in my, in my family, and I didn't got it, we've got a. a is it a pixie ear? You know, like a little lump there. Or is it a fair? Yeah, a pixie ear. And that's my, a lot of my kids would go out. We even had the bloody operations. <laughs> but it's supposed to be a magical thing, pixie ear. What is a pixie ear? It's called a pixie ear. I think it's a pixie ear. What is it? It's like a little lump on your, on your ear. It looks a bit like one of them. Yeah, at the top. Okay. Like here? No, at the very top. Uh, top there. Yeah. Uh, like a point? Like a, a lump. Hmm. So there's definitely lumps in my ear. Mm hmm Okay. I told them I ain't got one and I found I have got one. <laughs> so for 50 years, I didn't know I had one. Sweet. So your kids are marked by pixie ears. That's yeah, how you know. We've had operations. 
Ja, war ja. Mhm. Is like anything else in my body gonna morph into any, like anything weird? Depends on your journey and the astro world. I think it, a lot of this is all to do with uh, what you do outside in your sleep. That's oh, true. Yeah, a lot of it to do with uh, you could get anything. Part of the okay. job. That's the, that's the dog job description. <laughs> get loads of shit. <laughs> All right, and then um, do you all have any messages for me, like um, or just like a closing remarks or like um, advice or anything positive, like keep glowing the way you are. I'm so keep I'm doing okay. Keep telling the truth. Yeah, you're fine. You're glowing now, anyway. You definitely keep been speaking recently. your truth. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah, might not, not, it might not be to everyone's taste, big deal. <laughs> might not be what? To everyone's taste, but big deal. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Speak the truth. And when do I get my Heal Teach Love certificate? <laughs> <laughs> do I at least get like weirdest, weirdest healings? You probably there one of the weirdest ones, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, cool. the weirdest one. Yes. Definitely. You'd win on that one. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. <laughs> cool. If I didn't see it to believe it, I'd think it was fake. But it is. Yeah. Fact. It's it's true. Yeah, you are the strangest <laughs> ones we've had. Yes. It's all right. <laughs> now, do you think I should like share that info? Like I find it interesting, or do you think I should just not share that info? I think it's pretty fascinating. Am I supposed to share it? You can share it. Listen, you're on you're on video. So you can prove it. <laughs> I know. You, we have all the proof. Mm -hmm. I have all, and I have photos of everything. But, but what do you think? But I don't want I don't want more men and black people here. There's already plenty enough. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well. What do you think? Or will it help people? I, don't I have no idea. If it helps one, it's good. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. But other people be getting, it, getting attacked and everything. Uh, the card I just read for you is trust, trust your truth. Just uh, do it, tell it. Why try and block your sh uh, uh, throat chakra? Just, well, just if it, like, the physical bullshit I've been through. I don't, I just don't want any more. I want to heal. I want to feel okay for like many days again. Mm -hmm. I know it comes with the job, but I'm good on the pain. Yeah. Yeah. Archangel Michael just said soon. It's going to all end soon. I keep, I keep saying to him, you've been saying that to me for a while. <laughs> right. You know, I, like, I, I don't, I've been your time your time clock is a lot different than ours buddy yeah i've given i've been given a date but i don't believe in dates because dates change but the, the november yeah 29th or something 27 why did you say that you already had the intuition okay 27 That could be the start, it could be ended on the 29th, it could be all dead. <laughs> but there is gonna be I there is gonna be an end to it at least. Yeah. Okay. But that yeah, yeah, as soon as as soon as I'm uh I'm amazed how enough, close you were there. You you've got out. inside information as well, though, I would say. Mm -hmm. I was only given this this week. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so I think somebody gave me like a disc, like a Palladian disc or something too, which is weird. Somebody sent me a disc. I'll send it to you. What do you do with the discs? 
Have you seen them discs that I put on there last night? Uh, Matlock thing. Yeah, from the sound thing, right? Yeah. You, you connect if you connect to him, you can have all sorts of visions on it. All sorts of. Uh, mine was a, a Lemurian temple. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I just thought it was weird because I yeah, so I was sent to this too. Mm. And it must be like this week. Um. But like, the, I, the it, reason the reason I brought it up. Uh, it wasn't, yeah, the reason I brought it up was David mentioned about all the uh, galactics have got like uh, keys, like symbol key things. And I, I didn't even know about that. And I, that's why I brought it up because <laughs> I'd seen that tip a few weeks ago. Yeah, it was really weird. Like this week, somebody sent me a playing disc and then. Yeah, it was weird how about... he's heard about it and then I've seen it as well. And that was channeled, seven years of channeling and to do 15 discs. Yeah. Yeah, somebody just texted me, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, she came from Birmingham, uh, from Germany. And what she was saying was kids play with it, everything goes on it, it never gets damaged, it just like re cleans itself. <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah, they can build stuff that lasts mm. and doesn't break. Yeah. And self cleaning. But yeah, yeah, as soon as I started connecting to it, I started seeing ships that coming out of a uh, portal above us, uh, above our heads. And it, he built yeah. that, and it's got all the constellations on. He built that from channeled information that, and I think the council gave him the land to so rebuild it. Oh, amazing place. You feel it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I was told too the tri like the triangles like in my vein that recently appeared like my birthmark is like connected to a ship so I wonder, I wonder it might be um, your pass it might be key to get on board <laughs> yeah I think it is <laughs> so I yeah it's interesting that it's like activated now so um yeah, it's your barcode <laughs> yeah I know weird right <laughs> weird <laughs> but yeah, it's yeah. let me check I've seen people now, and they're testing barcoding people. You know, in chips inside. Oh, crazy world. Yeah. That won't happen to me. <laughs> yeah, that the vein one. I don't know if you can see it in the light. Let me see. Mm -hmm. It's hard to get at this angle, but that's weird. And like, I can't deny that. And you can see that. It's not like I can like rearrange my veins inside. But I wonder. You've probably got millions of pounds worth of tech inside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Thank all right. You. Well, blessings and thank you. Appreciate welcome, you all. Thank Appreciate you, you too, Lily. Lily. Lily wants to know who her main guide is now. This time, she's not there. Lily, <laughs> obviously, I hope not. Hmm? I know we're waiting for Lily. Lily, Lily. Do you want me to send some healing to everyone like the way I did it last Tuesday with my fingers and doing light language? Sure. See what people feel because I, I I get a bit crazy because I can't hear what I'm, I don't know what I'm saying. I say yes. Lily, you here? No, I said sleep.
Yeah. What did you think? Did you feel that? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah. I got very. I, I, hmm? I said I did. Yeah. Yeah, I did. So that's that's my new new tool. <laughs> Lily, are you back? No. Hmm. Lily. She's they had there's a message that says she had to go get coffee, hot coffee on the message thing. I go get me hot coffee. Yeah, I know. Okay. I saw that. Well, that was um. I passed. Quite a bit ago. It's mm -hmm. quite a bit ago. Uh, what is she doing? Making it. <laughs> <laughs> She's growing the tree. My realtor, hold on. Hi. What? Just going to see what the dog wants. What do you want? Go on. <laughs> okay all right. all right bye you're welcome bye bye well they sold a house on two streets over and they were supposed to take the for sale sign down at that house and they took mine down by mistake <laughs> that was, she's very upset and they're closed the place that puts them up uh, she's really upset with them anyway Lily are you back yes okay we're, we've been waiting for you dear okay okay <laughs> All right, then uh, a question from me. Uh, I've got to shut the door. The dog's got to come. Just one time. Okay, so Lily's back. So did she say back? Lily? Oh. Okay, you have a question? I'm thinking of one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have uh, a question. I, oh, sorry. Okay. Deb, because you guys are in Sedona, have you ever seen that dragon rock that's over there in Sedona? The what? Is it like it's on top of the mountain and it's like a dragon rock? It's shaped like a dragon, but it's in rock form? No. Have you ever gotten um, any messages from Grandmother Sky? 
over there in Sedona? No, I did light language there. And the only message I got was the first time that I would, that I would I actually had um, um, a, a, an actual, ch I channeled Cochise, the, the Indian chief um, came through uh, the last time I was there. I was actually there with uh, Phil, Phil's girlfriend. Um, and Cochise came and, and partially merged with me. And I found out he's actually a, a, what part of my oversoul. Okay, that's um, interesting. Yeah. Because I had I had a I was walking up the hill to go see this dragon rock because my friend was like, Oh, I know you're into dragons. Let me take you here. And then I had something merge with me, but not for herself as grandmother sky. And then later there was a dragon in in the in the part of the canyon and her in it looked like clouds but they weren't clouds i was like what is that and she told me that uh that her children had come um here in many different shapes and forms like you know we would assume that native american is only the native american lineage but she told me that all her children are in so many forms to pull, pull the energy, the old energies here. Yeah. That's what you told me. Well, I didn't. So I, it makes sense that yeah. you would. Yeah, I didn't even realize that you would Jesus connect. died in Arizona territory. I had no idea. So when I was. Me either. I, I didn't. And um, I had, I had the, I actually looked it up and found out oh, he wow. died there. So um, it was really strong. the The energies were really strong. I was saying, I I drove up a, a hill. I don't I I don't hike. Um, Americans don't as well. Uh, I so I've never hiked any anywhere in Sedona. I've I've only done horseback riding there, and that was twenty years ago. Um, oh wow! But I've never been a hiker. Uh, I have nerve damage. That part of my experience here. Um, so I can't hike. So I do. I drive. I drive in where they have homes now, and there's a part. Uh, there's. I know which streets to go on to where you can actually see all of uh, Sedona, and there's like a parking area um, where the homes are. So I I drove there, and uh, Sophie could see everything. Oh um, yeah, and that's where I did started doing channeling, um, and light language and it was the energies in me you know i had all of the mountains there the energy was really strong sedona's become such a tourist trap that it's crowded all the time now really crowded and mm -hmm. i really like did you go to oak creek canyon at all um i did yeah absolutely oh my god i think the energies there are phenomenal they really are and they they're so quite beautiful, beautiful. So I honestly, I would, I'm with you. I, and I'm so sorry. I didn't mean them for, I really did a hike. I, I didn't do a hike. We literally maybe made it up slightly up the mountain, but she was going to take me on a hike. I, we never made it. Yeah. We never made it. Cause once I got hit with that energy, I, yeah. that, that, was, that was, that was all she wrote. Yeah. <laughs> that was all yeah. she wrote, but I never, I, um, gave me a different perspective on, on that you know, they would say, they said, I think that legend goes, because I, I don't know much about it, but that they would only come into Sedona for their rituals. Mm. That's what I had heard. I don't it's know. not where they would live. They lived out in the outskirts of it. Um, there's, well, they lived all over there, but I mean, I don't think Sedona was not, um, I mean, their land was all over the mm -hmm. place there. So Donna became a place of spiritual. I think that maybe they, they, they have burial grounds there, which is a shame. Um, to me, that's that that was sacred ground for other things for them. Um, mm -hmm. But you could feel the energy. It was all sacred. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I, I also, the, the Grand Canyon is... Uh, 
really powerful, really powerful energies. I don't think people realize that. Yeah, I was reading something. They were talking about the water flow of like how you can see in the Grand Canyon, the levels of water. Mm -hmm. But a friend of mine lives outside of Vegas up in this place called Blue Diamond. And even there, and you know, Vegas is like a desert supposedly, yeah. but even there there's water levels and then yeah. there's also seashells there. Mm -hmm. And when um, I was there, one night I got visited in, in my awake sleep time by a Native American um, man that oversees the mountains there. Um, he, he gave me heart shakti, it was wild. And the mountains are actually, he told me they're actually crystals. That's why he keeps, oversees them. I'll send you a picture of them. That wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, and I was like, wow. And that's, that reminds, that would be the closest thing I, um, I've come across that feels like Sedona, but in a very much more subtle way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then there's natives all along the coast of California, mm -hmm. right? Because they were, they were um, on the land prior to them having it stolen from them. Yeah. And I've come across in spirit form along the land, um, the land keepers, the people that are, the natives that are still overseeing that the land here. I've yeah. met them too. Yeah. Yeah. But it's interesting how the Native Americans right now are, um, you know, it's part of our, the history of Earth, you know. Yep. In a deep way. I just was curious about Grandmother Sky. Because I I never heard anyone since or before talk about that. I was just curious what your experience was, but it sounds like it was similar. But well, she's um, an energy. Yours was an the, sky, the sky is an energy. The wind is an energy. Um, the wind talks. You can talk to the wind. You can. Um, um, I've talked to the wind. You can feel when you feel the wind. You, it, like sometimes the wind is a feminine energy. Sometimes the wind is a masculine energy. Um, you know, I sit in the yard. Uh, I, if I sit in the backyard, I can say hello to the wind, and I'll know if it's male or female today. <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah, a hundred percent. Just talk to it. The trees tell me if they're male or female, their names. I mean, it's, these are all energies. It, you just, it's, it's fabulous. This I agree. That's the sky. It's just. And the sun. Yes. Well, the sun is angelic energy. Yeah. The sun, when I um, spend time with it, I start having light come out of my eyes. And first I would see it on the walls, but then if I look at things with it, 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 um, it can literally activate things. It's crazy. Yeah. I've never seen anything like yeah. it. That's the sun, but the sun has those codes in it, you know, yep. early in so, the morning, first thing in the morning and then late, late in the day when it's just before it's setting, you can look straight in at the sun. Exactly. Exactly. I try to do that often. Lily, are you back? I think I think she fell asleep. I think you're right. <laughs> Did you have a question, Phil? Uh, just an observation, probably a uh, question. I'm so I'm still stuck on who built cathedrals. We didn't build them. All these ancient objects, all these ancient buildings, and all the underground, all the mud flood cities. We've got. We've got a town, let's see, Altrincham, it's got a city under it. Manchester, city yes. under it. Stockport, yep. city under it. What yep. happened? What exactly happened? I don't I don't go with the Noah thing. I don't think it was that. I think some it really I think the reset like they're doing at the moment. I do think I, I I'm just intrigued by it because you see these buildings and you're thinking, like Glastonbury, it's got a 40 foot entrance. Now that's giants to me. That's not us. <laughs> you don't have a 40 foot door, do you? <laughs> yeah. So it's yep. just amazing how you see all these 
all these, if you open your eyes and you look and you're thinking, we can't build that now. You know, well, look at the great look at the great fire of London. Yeah. And you look at the history, look at it, look at the casualties it said it had. Mm -hmm. 40 something people died in the Great Fire of London. You know that's a lie. Mm -hmm. They they oh. set fire, they set fire to a whole section of London and only 40 something people died. They they set fire to the poorest section of London and they mm -hmm. destroyed all of that, all of their homes in that whole section. The poorest part of that city, nobody would miss those people. So the Rockefellers, well, yeah, I mean, the the people them, that, them that French catacombs, the French catacombs that got thousands of skeletons in there. That's yeah. that's just like they, what they did in Maui. They, they you've got mm. two thousand children missing. But they, what that happens is they're destroying that whole section so they could rebuild and do what they wanted with it. They've been doing well, this. They've been yeah, doing well, this for thousands of years. Uh, just well, what, I, what I've been told, I've been told that the elite, you got to watch this because it's YouTube, you have to be careful with are trading with the Greys and it's kids to technology. So all our technology is coming from uh, alien stuff. That's what I've been told anyway. Oh, I know that. We've known that yeah. for a long time. Uh, yeah. But what have we got for them? The, 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 that's why I was telling the kids to disappear every year. Don't know what we do with them. So. But yeah, our history, you see a building and you're thinking, how did they build that? They must have been a the super The recording's not there. live, it's on private right now. It's uh, not live. They, they must have been a super race. And uh, I believe the giants did come here. And like when you mentioned the dragon before, or a snake. That's probably been, uh, that probably was real once. Yeah, you get a lot of, uh, lot of, I, I think they, they must have used some super. There's a, there's a video that's really important that, that these guys put together about the mud flood and what yeah. they've discovered and what's happened. And um, Christine Preston talks about it too. But mm. uh, yeah, there's there, there were cities existing and there's even videos of, um, that, like black and white videos from a long, long time ago, where you see, I mean, there's like very few people in it. If it's you like, get a coin, get a coin before 1700 and look at it, a lot of times the 19, the one, is an eye. Are we really in 2023 or are we in a 1023? I, I'm not yeah, sure. Yes. Yeah. They, they, our history is wrong. Yeah. Our years are wrong. Yeah. You're 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 hundred percent right. And I keep seeing that um that everything they say was coming has already come. We're already in it. It's like they push the idea of future, but the future can exist. Everything can only exist in the now. Mm. And that's what they keep showing me. But it must have been some sort of super weapon to create a mud flood. It's like a frequency weapon, isn't it? Yeah. Um, where have you heard that before? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Also, you know what? Back in 2000, I think it was 2019, we were on this trajectory. And then all of a sudden, I watched it start turning backwards in time. I literally was like, it felt like not felt, I saw it go into reverse. And I don't know what that, why that was, but I saw it reverse itself um, late 2019. Like we were going backwards in time. It was the strangest thing I've, I've experienced in, t in the factor of time. And then four years later, look what we're in now. It's like, it's like we've it entered the twilight zone four years ago. And <laughs> I know. It's so uh, true. The Guardian is saying that people have forgotten about COVID. Guardian are sponsored by Bill Gates, so I would not listen to that. Yeah, they're the biggest promoters, aren't they? <sighs> I'm not a conspiracy theorist. 
I just know the truth. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it makes you wonder how much of our history is real. Not a lot. Not a lot. It's what they want us to, to know. But why? What they want us to believe. But why? But they've manipulated our lives, our, mm -hmm. our, our everything about it. It's all manipulation and, and mm -hmm. bullshit. Yeah, definitely. It's just like the, the earth is round. Mm. <laughs> Some people still believe in that. Hmm? I think it's butt shaped from all the assholes that live there. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> No, if, um, if, if Earth was round, why ain't Australia fallen yet? <laughs> how how does how exactly when you're on an airplane and you're looking in the horizon, do you see it shaped? Do, at do all? you know what? I've got a friend they, and he's a, a I've curve got, at all. <laughs> yeah, but I've got a friend who's a pilot. And he's 100% uh, flat earther. And he said yeah. most of, most windows are concave or convex, I'm not sure, deliberately to make you feel like it's round. He said, but it's a German airline that is, is not. And he said it looks really weird going on that airline. <laughs> so, yeah, they have fisheye lenses on the windows so that it looks yeah. like it's, it's round. Yeah. But you still look at the horizon, and the horizon is still straight and flat. Yeah. But why? I think because uh, there's supposed to be uh, lands around us, isn't there? If, if the flat Earth is real, that, that gets a bit interesting. Like uh, the moor is supposed to be still here, and it's it's past the uh, thing in Atlantis. And, but uh, if you, you look at Alaska, what they have a camera that shows the, the sunrise and sunset in Alaska, and the camera goes just like this or out, <laughs> shows it. <laughs> where earth is flat as hell <laughs> the sun and the moon rising and alaska is a perfect place to show it how flat our earth is someone was telling me that they both could be true it could they be both our, could be true our manifestation you think about that it gets a bit complex <laughs> Maybe that's well, where I, you look at illusions and what they are. It depends what kind of eye, what kind of eyes you have, or what they can see. Your mm -hmm. eyes might not be as developed as others, but then some people could have a lens that's not letting them see everything. But then it could also be magic. Maybe that's where this is where you learn about about that. But since why we're did a, they call it an Earth plane? What is a plane? Well, what what I don't <laughs> yeah. get is if if we're in a dome and these lands around us, why are we in the dome? Are we in prison or something? <laughs> I think we're in a padded belly with sensors yeah. in a spaceship attached to it. An asylum. Us we're in an asylum. Asylum, yeah. Well, I think too, humans are a mix of all kinds of different space races and breeds and genetics, but well, what what I do love is NASA's videos. They're capped at a certain point so that you can't access your powers. But I, I kind of get it because some people are like, you, you look at some people on the streets and they're just like idiots and they're disrespectful. But like, what if their powers were activated and nobody ever teaches you really much about like how to use those powers or anything. But I kind of get it, but it's kind of messed up how everything is like, it's, it shouldn't all be lied about. We should learn about it, but there, it might be problem. Cause it, if you get mankind to unite, It'd be pretty amazing and powerful, but it could go both ways, like dark or light, disastrous or whatever. Well, I can tell you they've dumbed down the children in school right now. Oh, I mean, they can't even tell you. I mean, I see this guy, do a reporter on the street, and he asks these children that are supposedly high school kids to name three countries. They can't even, they, they don't even know how to name a country. Three countries. And they're naming Alabama which is a state in the United States, not a country, Michigan. And I, 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 I can't I, think of anything else. 
I love watching them videos of the the interview in America. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> dumbass one, dumbass two, and dumbass three. I mean, honestly, I've never seen the dumbest kids on the earth are, are in the United States because you've got presidents like Biden that you just let them let them graduate, just push them forward, let them go, let them go. You got schools that will let them graduate with they, they don't have to pass anything now. Mm. Don't fail any of them. They can't read or write. Let them go. Let them go to college. Oh, pass college. Get a good, you can have a degree. You don't have to pass anything. They can't add. They can't subtract. And they can't even spell their own. They can't even write their own name. But they're they got a college degree. Go, go ahead. I'm telling you, you've got a bunch of idiots walking around. I, I've seen them where they've interviewed uh 18-year-old, a simple maths four plus three or something, and they can't do it. And I'm thinking, what did you do at school? I, I got to use my <laughs> phone. I got to use my calculator. <laughs> four plus three. <laughs> Eight. That's it. Yeah, I got it right. Yeah, mad world. Yeah, the but technology it, passed everything too, which kind of stinks because kids aren't yeah. thinking. And you go to... I like to spend people time like face to face and it's just everybody's on their phones and it's like skill, it sucks. skill skills in indoctrination oh. prison. That's what it is. It's control indoctrination. And I'm the one who got a degree. So I was part of it. Oh, there you go. Uh, but it, it's all control, alarm, uniform, bell goes, you have a very it's, it's control. Sad. That's pitiful. Oh I'm I'm uh in the end of the month, I'm teaching geo sacred geometry at school. There you go, and uh, crystals again. So I'll have to, I'll have to learn it a bit. <laughs> yeah. When I was doing the chakras at school, I learned so much doing that. That's why I got all the aspects. Uh, how many chakras is it? Uh, hundreds, hundreds. It says there's only eight in the book. No, it's hundreds. Okay. Um, it's hundreds in your body and then it's hundreds upwards or dimensional and it's fascinating what you can open up when you find it yeah. Yeah. all right you guys i haven't eat, we haven't eaten yet today i'm starving i'm gonna let you go since lily lily are you here can i i thought you were psychic can't you send a message into her head <laughs> if she's an astral star in fights i'll send her i'll send her her guides so we go in astra julian and stop yeah. her and bring her back <laughs> i'll see if okay. i see her yeah it was good seeing thanks. everybody yeah thanks for coming on this was fun always a pleasure always a pleasure to be with all of you have a beautiful day everybody you too mm. Can we <laughs> have you much love, to, love everybody yeah. We'll see you next month. Yeah. Maybe we'll Have be in a care. new house. In a new house. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.